Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV on Bright in My Hands. This is the Serial Omnibus. Uh, this is the limited edition version, uh, limited to 650 copies. Uh, I went and decided to open this up because comics should breathe and be read and enjoyed. Um, and I also got this really cool thing on the inside. Woo! Uh, all right, so Serial. Uh, so this is by Terry Moore, uh, published by Abtra Abstract Studios, limited series that was, uh, I think, 12 issues total. Uh, this collects all the issues in one nice handy book. There is uh, some versions that are out in comic shops um, in, in comic shops this week. All right, so if you watched my reviews of the individual issues about Serial, you'll know I started off not totally enjoying it. I thought it was a very slow burn to start. And after a while, I started realizing, like, that's part of the point. This, the, the, the title Serial isn't just about a serial killer, uh, the, the big baddie. Serial killer is the big baddie. Um, but it's serialized storytelling. It really plays off the chapter-by-chapter -chapter build. Um, and the comic is quite brilliant because of that. Like, it really is one that leaves you on cliffhangers, that you have to read the previous uh, uh issue or chapter to, to understand the current one. Um, you know, it, it really gives you clues throughout and builds things throughout uh, as far as the characters and what's going on and, and how they interact and what they do. Um, it's, it's, you know, Serial, again, is about a serial killer and serialized. And it took me a while to pick up on that. And, I, and when it comes down to it, I really appreciate it. There's something feels very old school about it. Um, you know, it, it, there are issues where you're sitting there being like, it doesn't feel like much happened. Um, or there's there's issues where just like there's tons of happening, but you're just kind of left on a cliffhanger. Uh, it, it it plays all that so so well and and really paces things uh, in an excellent way that will keep you coming back. Like I, you know, I I really enjoy Terry Moore's uh, work, and you know this one really was something I felt was very different than a lot of the other stuff um, that's been done, and you know it's. It's good. It's really, really good. I mean, if you like detective stories, serial killer stories, whatever, however you want to describe it, it's not quite noir. It's it's more horror. I'd say it's more of a horror story than anything. You'll really, really dig this. Uh, so as I said, there's a, a big bad of a serial killer. Of course, police are trying to figure out uh, who it is and what's going on. And then there's this uh, young girl named Zoe who uh, doesn't age. She's been around forever, who is on... Um, on the hunt for as well to figure out what's going on and, and stop the serial killer. Uh, but the thing is, is, is Zoe at times isn't much better than our big baddie. Um, she does horrible things. So uh, Moore does some really interesting stuff, having uh, challenging the reader to try to figure out like really who is the villain here, like what you know what lines are are we and are we not willing to cross. Um, to me, I think that's it's a really interesting and brilliant thing to do, and it makes it such a fascinating and fun read. So um, I love it. I absolutely love it. If you haven't read this yet, like it's it's well worth getting. Um, you know, it's it's Terry Moore's very distinctive art style. Don't know how much better to describe it. You know, black and white, maybe a little gray, but generally black and white. Like we see here, one of the uh, the killings going on. Um, our serial killer does have a motive. It does. She does have people she's looking, uh, trying to get to. Um, and we have Zoe dreaming of kicking a whole bunch of butt. Uh, it's it's awesome. Like it's it's such a good read. It's really entertaining. As I said, it, it took me a while to kind of pick up on what was going on and really appreciate it. And, I think it was maybe a quarter way through where it kind of clicked, but, you know, by the second half, like, I was all in. So, um, as I said, if you like kind of, if you like horror, but done kind of more in a detective way, it's really good. Um, I, I, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. It's, it's solid stuff. Out now in comic shops, you can go get it. We got a uh, link beneath this video. Put in your zip code, tell the comic shops near you. No shop, no problem. We do have some links where you can purchase your own copy. There'll be affiliate links so we can get a small percentage. Uh, and by doing that, you'll support our site. So thank you. Just watch our video support us. So thank you for that. If you're into comics, if you're into graphic novels, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. Until next time, keep reading those comics and keep it geeky.
Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.